Hey, how's it going, friends and family? It is Maddie from Be Like Brands Ministries. I was not going to make a video today, but of a live stream video that somebody made from a Bible study I used to attend that I don't attend anymore due to bunch of people preaching false doctrine one of them has an infamous youtube channel and the rest of them closely associate with him i don't attend this bible study anymore for that reason because i saw some of the error and wickedness that went on in that bible study i pray for him but i stay away i don't have fellowship because of Putting myself in a position that would make me vulnerable to being susceptible to being deceived, and I didn't want that. And I was actually warned about this group two years ago by someone who invited me to the church I attend now. And she knew a lot about this group, but I didn't know a lot. So I wanted to find out more, so I wasn't putting myself in judgment, but now that I know these things, because I've seen these things and I've had, I've been attacked by people in that group for not following their legalistic garbage. Yeah, legalistic garbage. And I, I believe in obeying the Lord, but I believe in doing it knowing that I'm saved and not trying to earn salvation, which a lot of them preach against one saved always saved in that bible study and one of them preached a live video i can't say the subject of what it is i'll just put the link to the video in the description and you can watch it but it's really interesting because when this person makes this video like you can just feel a dark spirit when they're making it like into the first minute And the crazy thing is, I don't disagree with them about the subject, but what they said and the spirit that came out of the video, if I were to put it in the comments and y'all watched or in the description, you'd be like, holy cow, that's frightening. Because here's the thing. It's about a very popular worldly subject everywhere you go when you're with your friends. They always talk about it. I mean, you can't escape it. When I was with my Russian dinner friends for one of their birthday parties, I heard it. When I go to salsa dances, I heard it. When I go to work, I hear it. When I drop off anywhere or pick up from anywhere, I hear it. At my parents' house, I've heard it. And now it's being brought into the church. And... God called me a year ago on Facebook not to post anything about any worldly things that go on. He convicted me because I used to do that and there would used to be arguments and dissension and strife. But I got chastised for posting about political things and worldly things. And he woke me up and he told me, don't post about any of these things anymore. Instead, focus on salvation and the gospel and the rest will take care of itself. So I started doing that. And that's why a year ago I made this channel. And that's why one of the people I talked about more than I should have, I made videos on. Because the people closest to him were teaching him some very scary things and they were turning things that were in the world into spiritual issues we don't do that here we stick to doctrine and the gospel because that takes priority number one over everything else even chaos in the world and people are going to ask you questions like well what about this what about that well why answer those when the gospel is more important what needs to be addressed is the eternal and spiritual. 
The world is dying, folks. It's dying. And if you're a believer and you've placed your faith and trust in Christ, this isn't even our home. So, why would we waste so much time talking about external what's going on with either government, politics? That's already discussed in Revelation. We knew this was coming. This is not a surprise. Did we know the degree? Maybe, maybe not. But do we know the power of salvation? Yes. So let's make sure others know about that. That needs to be what's discussed, not this other stuff. So. All these things about whatever goes on in here or taking one of these or all that. The mark of you know what. That's less important than making sure people know truth, which is the gospel, which is found in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, Ephesians 2, 8 and 9, for by grace you've been saved through faith and that not of yourselves, 1 John 5, 13, these things I have written to you in order that you may know you have eternal life. That's what's important. Us focusing on all these worldly issues like UFOs or taking a needle that you're surrounded by, that's Satan right there, okay? We're not Satan's angels. We, we don't need to talk about that. The gospel is the power that saves but no one preaches that anymore because we're so focused on the chaos. And Satan, his angels like to use the chaos and bring it into the spiritual. You see this. So you've got Christian channels constantly talking about Christ is coming. We're called to preach judgment. And they're using what's going on in the world to preach Christ is coming. Do we deny that Christ is coming? No, absolutely not. He said in his word. But what is more important? Telling people that Christ is coming but not preaching a gospel? Or preaching a gospel making sure that people know salvation then letting them know that Christ is coming? You can be excited for his coming if you know you're saved. You tremble at his coming and live in fear if you're not sure. So, gospel comes first. Always, always, always. And I just quoted the passages. So, I will post a link to that live video. I want you to see how scary Satan can be. Because... I felt and saw demonic spirits on my timeline on Facebook this morning when I saw this. And it was a video called Last Warning, Final Warning. And it's a mentor of a certain so-and-so, or the wife of a mentor of a certain so-and-so that had this. Am I against dreams and visions and prophecies? Not if they're from God and you can verify it. If they're not from God and you can't verify it, then yes. Because then it comes from another spirit. So in another video, we will take a look at the book of Daniel. Because I want to show you what a godly prophecy looks like and how spot on it is. Versus one that's on YouTube. And you'll see the difference. It's huge. And you'll see... How specific God's prophecy is compared to how vague a YouTube prophet is. Because YouTube prophets, they speak in a lot of generalities. To like say a little bit of scripture to make it sound like that they know what they're talking about. They'll be extra dramatic. Because you know, people are naturally attracted to drama and the supernatural. So, people naturally gravitate to dream, vision from God, spent 25 minutes in hell videos, you know, to 
is supernatural. But if it requires study and actual study of truth, they're like, oh, that takes too much time. I don't want to. So that's why these channels that preach this stuff are more popular. It's because people naturally like drama. People naturally are obsessed with the supernatural. That's why. Any channel that preaches truth is not going to be as popular due to the fact that it's truth and it's study and nobody wants to have to spend time actually reading to find things out. Because it takes effort. But what I find funny is the Lord Shipper channels that don't like to put in the effort to read truth are the ones that are talking about how we need to put effort into works and take God seriously. That is really interesting. I don't know. Don't ask me. <laughs> it's just, it just seems odd that someone that would say we need to take God seriously, but then they don't want to actually read the word to find out what things really mean. It's like, is that taking God seriously? Or are you just saying that? Like, what is it? Come on, boys, spit it up. So I will leave the link to that video because it's a really scary video because I want you to see the deception in this video because it's glaring. It's horrifying. I saw it this morning and I was like, wow, this is not good. This is going to destroy the church and tear up the church. And... I'm going to also send this video to my pastor, this live stream, because I want to get a little more insight on it. And he's a man of God, and I know for sure, because I've talked with him. He knows the word. He's very trustworthy. I know he studies. He's got a library full of books he loves to read. So, I mean, there's that. But, this, but I do have the link copied. I'm going to put it in the description. Because in the first minute, you're going to see the demon, the demonic spirit. You're going to see it. You're going to feel it. And you're going to be like, oh. Like, it'll just, like, make you go, bleh. You'll see it. And I actually thank the person that warned me about this group this morning. She actually warned me about it three years ago when I first started going to First Church. And I went to that group. To kind of find out what it was about because I hadn't been exposed to the spiritual so the first time I've really encountered demonic spirits and demons was now and one of the first people who I sensed had a demonic spirit was who I've been talking about more than I should and now that I know this now that I've seen it, I can use the information I know to help protect others from these kinds of things. So that way you don't fall prey to this spirit either. That's why we stick to the word and the gospel. Stick to what you know God has called you to do. Stick to love. Stick to truth. Stick to the Holy Spirit. Especially if you know for sure you've placed your faith and trust in Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. That he died on the cross to pay for all of your sins. Past, present, and future. Because that is the gospel. That's why we need a Savior. Because we can't do it on our own. And we will take a look at a video. We will be making a video called What If... Lord Shippers were right. Or what if you could lose your salvation? And we'll go back to that prophecy in Daniel. 400 years before Christ came. If that wasn't true, Daniel would be a liar. And God would be a liar. Because that prophecy happened 400 years before Christ came. And... They got it right that exact day, 400 years before. 
So we'll do we'll do a video on that. But let that soak in. So I will post the link to this video. It's seven and a half minutes long. And it's really scary how demons operate. But when you see it, you're going to be like, whoa. It'll wake you up to want to make sure that your friends stay in truth. The people you love. And it will motivate you to actually want to share the gospel so you don't fall for this. Amen? Anyways, that's all I got. Happy Saturday. You guys enjoy. Thank you all for tuning in, watching. I love you all. And I'm encouraged by how much a lot of your faith has grown since this channel has started a year ago. And let's continue to excel still more like in Thessalonians, like Paul commanded the Thessalonians to do. And also remember 1 Corinthians 3, 12 through 15, our judgment about rewards. Let's be the ones that receive rewards so when we get to heaven, we'll get to enjoy more. Enjoy more of what God has to offer. That's going to be exciting. And I'm going to be kicking myself that I wasn't more obedient because there would have been more rewards I could have had. I apologize, God, for that. I apologize for the things I think, Jesus. I repent. I have a change of thinking. I want to think more kingdom thoughts. I don't want to think about anything the world has to offer. Because I'm not going to talk about the world. I don't need to. We're supposed to be in it and not of it. So we're just going to share the gospel and go from there. And share how to grow in faith and how to encourage others. Because that's what the kingdom needs. Amen. God bless y'all. Love y'all. And see y'all in the next video. Hopefully sooner rather than later.